In case you didn't know, Funimation is about to shut down. Crunchyroll will be the half that keeps its name at the end of all of this because they're merging, which is crazy. Funimation has been around for so long. I'm surprised that they kept the Crunchyroll name over it, to be honest, but that's what they're doing. And Funimation as a company is going bye-bye. And with every merger... A lot of people are probably going to lose their jobs if they haven't already because when two companies combined, you get spillover and some people just become redundant. So as of April 2nd, Funimation is pretty much dead and Crunchyroll will be the new king, even though they've kind of been owned by the same people for quite some time. So what does this mean? Well, it means a lot of things. If you oh, if you have an account over on Funimation.com and you were watching a lot of the stuff over there and you had places saved, right? That's probably not going to carry over. So if you're using this service, you should probably write down what episode you're on on whatever series if you care that much because it's not going to pick up for you. But that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing to talk about here is why physical media matters so much. So this is the little statement that they put out about 21 hours ago, or it was updated 21 hours ago. I think it's actually been up for about a week. Uh, Funimation end of services. So this is directly from their website going over what this means if you're an account holder. And I can tell you one big thing it means is if you've invested in digital, you're about to lose your entire library. What is going to happen to my digital copies? I didn't even know they did this, to be honest. I thought they just streamed. I didn't know you could actually buy the digital shit. Uh, But this is why buying digital doesn't matter and why I'll never buy digital copies Physical media is what matters to me because you own it. I don't care who shuts down, who gets a license to what, who owns what. I still have my Blu-ray. I still have my 4K Blu-ray. I still have my DVDs. Those aren't going anywhere, even if Crunchyroll shuts down. Uh, But if you own digital copies over there, uh, those aren't going to transfer to Crunchyroll. (laughs) You're, you're fucked. What is going to happen to my digital copies? We understand that you may have concern about your digital copies from Funimation. Please note that Crunchyroll does not currently support Funimation digital copies, which means that access to previously available digital copies will not be supported. However, we are going to continuously work to enhance our content offerings and provide you with an exceptional anime streaming experience. We appreciate your understanding and encourage you to explore the extensive anime library available on Crunchyroll. In other words, too bad is what they're saying. (laughs) Get over it. Because technically, you really don't have that many rights to a digital copy, I don't believe. It's on their stuff. You can download it, I guess, but I think you still have to be connected to the site to download it, don't you? I I don't really, I'm not a digital purchasing kind of guy, so I usually, if I buy a Blu-ray and it comes with a code, I give it away. I just put it on my, my community tab usually, and someone gets it because I don't use those. I have the discs, which is how I'd rather play the games anyway, but... Yeah, this is one final F you to the customer, Funimation, known for milking the shit out of their customers, by the way, re-releasing and triple, quadruple dipping stuff over and over again, uh, giving subpar products. Uh, Any Dragon Ball fan that has been dealing with Funimation's releases knows exactly what I'm talking about. But this is 
this is important. This is why if you like something, you should buy the disc. I have an extensive physical media collection that I've been building up over the years. And I'll always have those. And, you know, it sucks for people that did have a digital library. Uh, of course, sucks. And, uh, you know, I feel for you. But this is what happens when mergers happen. Imagine if you own an extensive library of, like, a Sony movies or Disney movies, and they merged. And I'm not saying that's going to happen. It's just a hypothetical. But imagine if Sony merged into Disney or Disney merged into Sony, you would probably lose one of the company's digital codes. Like, you would you would lose those copies in favor of the other. And I don't like that, and I don't think I'm the only one. So, this is unfortunate. Anime fans have been treated like shit in the West for a long time by these companies and milked, and, and here it is yet again. So, let me know your thoughts on this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter... Over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.